Hi, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot here to do another 48 hour update to the sign of Leo. Just keep in mind, these are general readings and not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Leo. So let's jump into this reading, see what spirit has, what messages spirit have for you guys this week. Alright, messages for the sign of Leo, for the 26th to the 27th of May. Messages for the sign of Leo, for the 26th to the 27th of May, 2020. Messages for the sign, okay. So, for some of you, you may be having money, financial, a uh, financial situation right now. Um, you're feeling like you're down on your luck and things are not moving in your favor where finances is concerned. You aren't happy. This is not making you happy. It is not how you want things to work out. Because you are going to step to someone very soon to tell them how much you love them. And without your finances in order and getting what it is you want, I think this is going to be a challenge for some of you. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer you're dealing with. But you see this person as your Ten of Cups. Okay. Yeah. You feel that there is a spiritual connection between you and this person. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. But you see this person as your happy home. And I think for some of you, what is holding you back from actually telling this person how much you do love them is the fact that money is still an issue. Um, yeah. Yeah, yep, you're holding back. You're still holding back. You're still holding back from this person, communicating your love for this person. But for some of you, a tower moment is about to happen where something is going to shake you to your very core. Um, the reason for this tower moment most of the time is to get things to crumble because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. So, if you want to rebuild with this person to have this ten of cups, the universe needed to yes. cause an ending to happen. Some of you could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. So the tower moment was an ending. But you're holding on to this connection still. You're not trying to rush in to give anyone any passion at this point in time. It could be an Aries Leo or Sag you're dealing with. Um, but you're trying to have the conflict die down. You're trying to wait till this person has probably forgotten about it because this person saw it to be not beneficial to them or it could be you at that point in time you didn't see that it was worth fighting for because of your ego maybe this is you being in your ego Leo where you are not giving the universe an opportunity to get things working in your favor because you were trying to control a situation, you were behaving erratic, could be an Aries Leo or Sag you were dealing with, could be you or could be them, you were trying to control the situation, you were trying to manipulate the situation, you were trying to come out on top in the situation. So your ego was as much to have played, yeah. Communication is not happening between you and this person at this point in time. <clears throat> but you're ready to take a leap of faith. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. You could have Aries in your chart. But you're willing to start over. And stop juggling between you and this person or maybe two people. You know what you were juggling, um, Leo. But you're ready to start over. Start afresh. With or without clarity... You're not even going to try to defend yourself in this situation or try to explain anything. Because to you, 
this person may have been sneaking around or you felt that they were and now you are waiting for your ships to come in you're looking to the horizon and waiting for better things to come you're working on yourself and your pentacles at this point in time you're working on hmm, ways to get this burden that you are feeling off your shoulders but for some of you you're ready to make a small offer of stability towards someone you're ready to start something fresh again with someone after probably a separation there was some time apart between you and this person but you're ready to work on a connection right now no matter how much of the world is actually on your shoulders or you feel it is um yeah yeah time out this person probably gave you time out or you the connection was timed out and you went with in searching for answers you probably went to higher powers trying to find out if this was something for you or not wow this is three major arcanas so yeah you could probably have been separated from this person for three months four months maybe But there was a lot of soul searching happening here. There was a lot of time apart between you and this person. Could be as much as six months. Could have been since the Pisces season. Or it could be until the Virgo season. But you see this person as your wish fulfillment. You want healing in this connection with this person. Could be an Aquarius you're dealing with or a Pisces. Hmm. But you're not ready for reconciliation just yet with this person. You're looking to heal the relationship. But I think you want to keep it as a friendship for right now. <clears throat> you're moving slowly towards this person. You want to give them an offer, but you're not at that place yet to do so. So you're taking your time moving towards them. Not trying to start anything just yet with anyone because there was an ending see there was an ending you had an ultimate you had a heartbreak here you felt ultimately betrayed by someone but now you are ready to rush into someone to offer them some type of truth probably when the uh, breakup happened you you went silent and you didn't really communicate with this person no matter how hard they tried because at that time you weren't ready to have a collaboration with this person. Could be a libra for some of you. But the situation wasn't balanced between you and this individual. But you are not ready to close off this cycle yet. There was a lot of time between you and this person. But you're not ready to give it up yet. If it's a marriage, you're not ready to leave this connection yet. Yeah. Because you are ready to step into the emperor energy where you take charge of the situation and you get this person to finally listen to you. You explain all this drama to them and know that though you are wounded, you're still in a fight. You're not giving up on this person. Communication may be a problem, but I think you're manifesting that communication opens up between you and this person what are you hoping for Leo a miracle you're manifesting a connection with this person again you're manifesting uh, uh, yeah because you want to rush into them to give them love <laughs> can we ask of your Pisces cancer you're dealing with but this is the person that you are in love with You're definitely in love with this person. And you're feeling like your hands are still tied in this situation. You feel stuck. And you don't know how to move. Yep. Because there is a lot that you are not seeing in this connection. Or, or at least you feel you do. But <clears throat> your emotions for this person runs deep. 
you're hiding it but it runs deep I'm telling you straight out you are definitely in love with this person and you are manifesting that they come back to you that's what you're manifesting that they come back to you hmm ego still Leo have you not learned that your ego was the thing that probably caused this relationship to crumble in the first place but you do love this person a great deal but you're hiding it all right this is what i have for you i hope it helps have a good one